I'm Ginny. I'm Jo and we're studying Level 6 Diploma of Veterinary Nursing and we're here today with Teddy um, just to show you how you can do a wellness check on your dog at home. To start our health check we're going to start from uh, Teddy's nose and then we're going to check his body down through the tip of his tail. So when we start with his nose, make sure that there's no discharge. We can also have a look at his mouth, check his teeth, make sure that they're all nice and clean and that he's got good mucous membranes. Going up, we can look into his eyes and we wanna make sure that they're clear. Make note that if you notice any color discharge or anything like that, any redness, any swelling, we then can go back and have a look in his ears, check for any redness, if he's any dry patches, see if there's any irregular smell there. Going down his neck, we can check for any lumps and bumps that you might not have noticed out of there. When you go down his legs and check his paws, you can check for the nail length. Going down his body, again, checking for any lumps and bumps. Um, also gives you a chance to feel um, the body condition, whether you can feel their ribs or whether you can't. Um, also, you can feel their coat, if their coat's soft or if all of a sudden it's gone a bit dry and a little bit wiry. And going down to his back legs, feeling any lumps and bumps, checking his feet, and then down his tail doing your wellness check and you get down to the tail, you want to check uh, through the hair and looking on the skin, making sure that there's no flea dirt present. Uh, so it's very important for you to keep your flea and worm treatment up to date. When you've taken your dog for a walk, give them a once over and feel for any grass seeds that may be present. If you find any, remove them. Um, if they get stuck in the skin, they can cause infection. So that was our wellness check on, that we've done on Teddy that you can easily do at home. If you do notice any abnormal lumps and bumps on your dog or at all, just take them to your local vet. And the vet nurses.